Hey, what's going on everybody? Paul Tech here. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you two different ways of capturing a screenshot on your brand new ZTE Blade Spark. So the first method is the more traditional way where you press the volume down button and the power button at the same time. So I'll give you a demonstration here. Volume down, power button, same time, here we go. And just like that, you are able to capture the screenshot. Pull down the status bar and you'll see screenshot has been captured. Get an option to share and delete it as well. So the second method, what you want to do is jump into settings and then you're going to go ahead and scroll until you find the option for me pop or my pop, however you pronounce it. Go ahead and click there and you want to enable this feature. And this is actually very neat. Um, it's very useful, for instance, if you ever come across your volume rockers, for instance, not functioning or working 100%, you can actually enable this and it gives you all types of different shortcuts um, to use on your ZTE Blade Spark and you get this floating toolbar here. You can basically just move it all around. You can even enable this as a dedicated screenshot button. And as you can see right there, it did capture the screenshot. Um, if you like, you could, don't have to have this as a dedicated screenshot button. You can just keep it as the default home option there. And I'll show you here on the home screen. You can just pretty much move this all around whatever application you're on. What you wanna do is slide out and then you get your different options there. And like I said, you can customize this, but you do have the screenshot option right there. And it's a pretty useful tool, I think. It can definitely come in handy. But those are pretty much the two different ways of capturing a screenshot on your brand new ZTE Blade Spark here. So if you found the video helpful, informative in any way possible, please hit that thumbs up button. And please subscribe to the channel for more future helpful videos. This is Paul Tech, and I will talk to you on the next one. Bye.